When we got home, Metgar brought his old army pistol down from the attic. He placed it in the glove compartment of the car and vowed never to face such humiliation again. The other agents are out in the fields selling insurance. Not you. Not Medgar Evers. He's selling memberships. Merle, I sell insurance, but that isn't all these people need, and you know it. No, of course not. They need the NAACP. You saw Lovett grinning and shuffling and scared to take his eyes up off the ground? A wife and ten kids, all of them hungry, not one of them been near a school. Whole life spent picking cotton for the white man, and what do they get for it? Nothing. There are people, Merle. Now, what else can I do but try to help them? You can mind your own business. Merle? Those people are my business. They'd be your business, too, if you weren't so busy feeling sorry for yourself. It's not me. It's these children, your children, that I feel sorry for. Tell me, who do you think would feed them? Where would I get the money to clothe them and send them to school if that man out there had put a bullet through your brains this morning? I mean, you fought in the war. You did your part for your country. Right. And where did it get us? Where did it get us? Well, what's wrong with what we have, Medgar? What do we have, Merle? I want everything that everybody else is entitled to. We have a family. Decent jobs. Merle, I can't keep on selling those people insurance. I can't keep taking their nickels and dimes and waiting for them to die off so that I can take their children's nickels and dimes. Don't you think I feel sorry for them, too? Well, then you should want to do something about it. Medgar, it's not our responsibility. Well, I'm making it mine. You're out of your mind, Medgar. Maybe. Well, then I guess you'll just have to make a decision. Either you're going to be the next savior for all the poor Negroes in Mississippi, or you're going to be a proper husband to me and a father to these children. But you cannot have it both ways. No. No, it is you who has a decision to make, Mrs. Evans. Because I cannot fight their fight all day long and then come home and fight with you at night. Either you are with me or you're not. The NAACP is opening a regional chapter in Jackson. They've offered me the job of field director. I'm going to take it. <laughs>